So today, Kyra is finding out some horrible, horrible news. She did go to the mailbox and she got her mail, you know, regular, regular mail, you know, bills, all that stuff. But she did get this extra envelope and it had a notice stamp on it. So she opened up the envelope and basically this note says that she has a limited time until they kick her out of this house because of the simple fact that she cannot afford it she has the mortgage which is for the house she also has you know tv cable um which is yeah cable then her phone like all that stuff she's just not able to afford everything and they gave her a notice and tell her that if she does not pay in 24 hours then she will be kicked out of the house she'll have to move out and go find another place so as you guys know that will definitely leave anyone absolutely anyone terrified and sad a whole bunch of emotions she doesn't know what the hell she's going to do she can't even ask her father for money because her father and her brother are not even financially stable themselves <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Teen Pregnancy part number 16, I believe. So I hope everyone is doing amazing. And if you are new to the channel and this is your first time coming across one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications so you do not miss out on any single video that I post on my channel. So Miss Kyra is here in shock. You guys did hear the little intro that's going on. So I just wanted to do that intro so you guys know exactly why she has this face. I feel so bad for Kyra right now because I don't know what she is, like, what is going to happen. Because she has the these papers, the this mail, and you guys can see the stamp and it says notice, but it's in Simlish, okay? Pretend it says notice, okay? <laughs> but, yeah. So, it's a notice that she has to move out if she does not pay her bills in 24 hours. So, she is struggling with money. I know there's child support and all that stuff, but I honestly feel like child support is definitely not going to, you know, pay for bills. That's basically, child support is basically for the children. And the children themselves, we have three children. So, the children themselves are really, really hectic and it's crazy. So, yeah, honestly, the child support is only for the ch um, the triplets because, you know, she has to get their formulas, the food that they're eating, all these, like, little fruit cup thingies and all that stuff. That all goes with child support, and that stuff is not cheap. So, and also their bedroom was pretty expensive as well. So, honestly, Kyra is in the verge. Like, she literally has no money at all, and she can't even ask anyone for any money either because her father is already not in a stable condition so I don't know what she's going to do but I honestly feel that you know if it's meant to be if she is meant to stay in this house then it will happen and if not then we're gonna have to leave and I feel so bad for her because this is just more stress on top of what she already is going on um with the triplets and stuff like that and she you know like just to, I don't want them to be sad or, you know, she just wants them to be happy and she wants to bring that happiness to them. And so, you know, she, I don't know what she's going to do, but I feel so flipping, flipping bad for Kyra. And she's even mortified as well. So, I don't know. It's, it's a lot, but... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go and take care of our babies. I just want to make sure that they know that they're loved and, um, you know, give them the loving that they deserve. So we're gonna go and pick up King and we're going to, oh my god, I can't with her walk. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna bring him in his bed because he's super tired. I think that all the toddlers are gonna go to bed early today because they are super tired and I need them to give, get some baths as well, so... That's what we will be doing. Baby, if you do not pick up your child and pick him up and bring him over here, please. And thank you. Okay, let's go and read King to bed. Oh, my God. He's like, Mama, what are you doing? Why are you holding me like this? Why are you holding him like that, Kyra? You're doing so much at this point. You're really doing so much. 
She is doing the absolute most. But we're going to put him to bed, and I'm going to give the girls a bath. I don't think he needs a bath. Oh, no, he kind of does. But I'm going to go and give the girls a bath. Actually, no, she doesn't need a bath. It's just um, Miss Maya here needs a bath. So let's go and give her a little bubble bath. So Maya, my darling, my darling. But yeah, y'all, so honestly, I do not know what's going to happen between like everything that's going on i really do not know especially you guys especially because we have a little pet a little kitty cleo we have to take care of cleo as well so it's like three t triplets plus we have to um pay bills for the house plus you know we have a whole kitten and plus you know we have to pay the nanny you know things like that and it's like we just bought our salon as well and that was already, like, a whole chunk of our money. So, just imagine how much stress and, like, how much stress Kyra is going through right now because of all of this that's going on so fast. And she's just not used to it. She's just used to asking her father for money and, you know, boom, she got it. Or she's used to taking loans and, boom, you know, she gets to do whatever she wants with the loans. But it doesn't work like that anymore because she needs to make sure that she, you know, she does. The, she makes the right decisions. And honestly, like this whole LP, or not even a whole LP, like her whole life, she's always been giving stuff, giving stuff. Um, but it's come to a time, like you know what I'm saying. Like she ha she's been like doing really, really, really. You know, not so smart choices, decisions. So it honestly just caught up to her. And it's it's sad to say, and something I don't want to speak right now. It's sad to say because Kyra doesn't really like asking people for money anyways. Oh, look at her crying. Oh, my God. Don't show the kids this. Don't show them you crying, Dorley. It's okay. Um, she is hungry, so we're gonna go and have her grab a servant of this, and you need to go and take a potty. I'm gonna, um, ask the nanny to leave, because, baby, you was not even doing nothing. Not a damn thing you doing. So, let's go and dismiss her. And we also have a whole bunch of dust. That, like, this house is just a mess, also. So, we're gonna go and throw everything away. See, look, $87. And that's every single time we bring the nanny here as well, so... Yeah, um, what are my, my babies doing? Go and take, go and potty, baby. And you need to go and eat some food. Yeah, you eat it. Okay, good. Girl, if you don't not pick this stuff up. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go and vacuum this. And vacuum this dust bunny over here, too. I'm tired of these dust bunnies. I really, really, really flipping am. Y'all don't even know how to take it off. I'm not even gonna lie. I forgot how to do it. But we're also gonna go and clean out the litter box. And just make sure everything is right. And then we're going to go and grab us a serving of some chili. So just sit down and, you know, think about what we're going to do. We definitely need to text our, call our father. At least call him and be like, this is what's going on. They literally sent me a notice. I don't know what to do. I'm literally freaking out. Like, I'm so, so, so confused on what I'm supposed to do. So she's going to go and call her father. And see what he thinks. This looks like some mole. Oh, no, it's not more. It looks like more from afar. I'm not going to lie. They're right in the middle of the chili. That is so disgusting. Okay, let's go. Let's go off to bed. Go and sleep. And then Mama's going to tuck you in. And then you're going to go to sleep too, Brooklyn. Go to sleep. Cleo, you hissing so much, baby doll. You need to go to bed as well. <laughs> because, child, you be doing too much as well. I'm not going to lie to you, Cleo. You, you, you purring at me. Bibu, Sanzi, B, Guamish, Nabino, Verpasa, Essanoi, Trofa. Okay, so she just came off the phone with her father about everything, and he is, so, like, freaking out. He's freaking out. Kind of my favorite sister on board. Come over here. Oh, that's so cute. I can't right now. But he's freaking out. He's like, oh my god, I feel like this is all my fault. If I had enough money, then she'll be good. And, you know, he's also telling her to not worry about it. And everything will be just fine. 
And you never know because when she goes to work in her little studio, her, not her studio, her salon, then maybe she'll make some good money. You know, we never know. So he's just telling her not to freak out and everything will be perfectly fine. So, Mama, what's what's wrong? Go and read Maya to sleep. I think she needs a little, a little um book to read. Let's go and read her a little book. I also want to start the cleaning routine because I need this place to be cleaned, and um, I feel like someone's gonna like. She's probably gonna get like a cleaning evaluation, and if it, the place is like really bad, then they're just gonna kick her out like on the spot. So, we need to make sure that this place is clean, which is pretty clean for the most part. Um, and I want her to practice more on it, like, hairstyles and stuff like that before we do anyone's hair. But, you know, we're just going to have to see how how everything happens. Wait, what's going on? Read her to sleep. Ciao. Where is she going? Okay. <laughs> you decided to come all the way in your room to look at the wall and then move it and then go back. That makes so much sense, right? Yes. Yes, girly. But yeah, hopefully, you know, doing other people's hairs and stuff like that really does help because I really want to make sure that she gets at least a little bit of money. But I still don't think that it will be enough to pay for this bill because this house is actually pretty big. Like, this is a two-bedroom, one-bathroom. And, you know, this whole lot is ours. So, not just the house, but also the property taxes. Property, um, property, what's it called? What's the word called? Is it property taxes? I think it's called property taxes. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just, like, it's a lot to deal with. But let's go and tuck in my babies. Um, tuck in and tuck in and tell them it's going to be completely all right. We're going to go and text up. Our best friend, Ariana, and we're going to tell her what's going on right now because I feel like she deserves to know because she's our best friend. Um, I do want her to tell Antonio, but I just don't want Antonio to feel the need that he needs to give us money. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's not the type to be like, oh, my God, I need money, this, that, and the third. Like, she's super independent. She pushed all these three triplets out of her little coochie hole. Okay, she is so independent, and she actually been carrying this house for a really, really, really long time. So she's not the type to be like, you know, I need some money. Can you provide me with some money? She's not the type to be like that. So she wouldn't go to Antonio, Antonio for any money because I know some of you guys may just be like, you know, ask Antonio, but that's not the case. We is not asking nobody because that's not the type of person that she is especially like she's the only person she would ask and she's been asking is her father and you guys know that she's been asking her father but it comes to a point where you know she doesn't want to ask just people like random people or like acquaintances for money because that's just not the type of person that she is so yeah plus also she has school going on and keeping up her grades it's just a lot of stress on her y'all and um yeah, but we're going to get through it. I know Kyra will get through it because she is strong as ever. Um, but we're going to actually have her do her homework because um, she needs to do that. And I think she's going to go and roll up a blunt or something because she is stressed. I might be stressed. Okay, let's do Let's roll first before we do this. Because I just feel like she just needs to have some relaxation, you know? Especially with everything. So, she's going to go and smoke some weed. And Cleo is there playing with herself. That sounds wrong, but... She <laughs> she's basically throwing herself everywhere. But, yeah, she's going to finish smoking and stuff. And then we're going to go and play with Cleo. And then do our little homework. We are up... We're probably going to be up all night. Because she's not really that tired. Which is surprising. Because all the stress and everything. But she's not really tired at all. Um... And yeah, graduation is also coming up as well. We have to go and pay for our gown, you know, getting our hair done, which we can do it ourselves, which is not a lot. But, you know, purchasing the wigs, you know what I'm saying? And restocking even, like, restocking wigs for, um, like, her salon and stuff. Like, that's going to be even more money on top of that. 
So it's just, it's like a lot on her plate. Oh, and yeah. it's a struggle, oh, I'm not going to lie. But she's smiling through everything. And she's going to get through it because Kyra is a strong ass bee. Okay. But she's going to finish her, she's going to do her homework, girl. If you don't sit down over here and stop go, trying to go and sit right where your babies are, they are peacefully sleeping. And you about to just go and sit right on their bed. Go and sit down right there. Girl, she's about to get up again. We're going to lock this. Lock this door but for everyone. Okay, let's see where else you where else you do your damn homework, B. Yeah, sit down on the damn chair. Why don't you just do that automatically? <laughs> damn. Okay, she's going to do her little math homework real quick. She is so gorgeous, by the way. Like, can we just take in how pretty she is? She is absolutely perfect, Shane. I'm not going to lie. Like, Jaquan is really just... Missing out on this good. Okay, that's spoiled. All right. The, did we just clean the litter box? I'm confused, <laughs> bitch. We literally just cleaned the litter box, and it's already full again. Let's go and listen to some hip-hop music. Hey! Ah. Oh. That makes her makes her go makes her do her homework faster. Yes, ma'am. I I finally got my words out. Okay. okay, we're gonna speed this all up. What skill is she getting? I don't even know what skill she's getting, but let's just go and speed this up a little bit. Hopefully, the babies don't just like randomly wake up. Oh no, he's gonna wake up soon. This sleep schedule is gonna be oh. Uh... Okay, so she finished. She's feeling hungry. So what we're gonna do is. We're going to probably make something. Let's go. Oh, nope. Somebody's awake. Maya is awake. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, go and have you. Let's just make a meal. Uh, we can just have like a beef patty, honestly. Let's just have that. Something quick. And um, baby girl, what's going on with you? She's actually very happy. She just got a pee pee. Actually, how about you use a diaper? You got a whole diaper. Go use a diaper. Do they have school today? Oh, yeah, I think they do have school today. Okay. So we got to get them ready for school. Um. Oh, also that. Like, her going to, them going to school. That's money as well. So. Yeah, it's just a lot. But she is feeling sad. Well, she's not feeling sad anymore, which is good. <sighs> she's really thinking. Thinking hard. Nice and hard. Okay, she's going to go back to sleep. King is about to wake up because... He, let's go and use her diaper. Use her diaper, love. And you are hungry. Okay, so you're going to come over here. I'm going to go and eat some of that beef patty okay look at the beef patty okay it's the details for me it's the details for me i'm not even gonna lie okay sparkling beef patty how excellent what is her skill level i think all my sims have some amazing cooking skills yep she got level six um cleo you are in the water bowl my love <laughs> okay whatever you the one that's drinking it you can put your tail all your tail all up in it, cause you the one that's drinking it. Okay, let's go and take off these. Turn this off. Take them out of our ears. I'm hoping we have some. We need to use those earbuds. Um, let's just say AirPods <laughs> more, more often. Are you gonna come over here and ask your mama? Can you ask her for some food? Help, food. Not some food, mommy. Oh, someone else is awake. Oh, Lord. Like, up, up, up. Oh, the door's locked. I'm so stupid. Y'all probably screaming at me. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Okay. Um, Let's ask for food. And you're going to ask for food, too? Okay. They're both gonna go and ask her for some food. Look at them troublemakers. She's like, hungry, I'm hungry. What 
want some grilled twist. You want some grilled twist? So let me make you some grilled cheese, okay? It's called grilled cheese, not grilled twist. <laughs> okay, let's go make a family size. And they're going to come and sit down here and wait. Come and sit down and wait for some food. Okay, we're going to make some grilled cheese for you guys. Even though it's 5 a.m. <laughs> it's mother flipping 5 a.m. Talk about some grilled cheese. <laughs> okay, she's almost done this grilled cheese. I almost said tweeze again. Child, I need to stop. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm flipping dead. Okay. Yes, put that down. And we're going to go ahead and grab a serving. Pick up a serving. And pick up a serving. Okay. Go and pick up a serving for them. And come and give them both things. Yes. Oh, he got two. Give one to your sister. Okay, now eat this. Eat this grilled cheese. And you can... Oh, I was like, where the hell did grilled cheese go? Eat this grilled cheese too. There we go. My babies have some food. They got some food. They got some food. Maybe Maya hungry? She's gonna have a little bit hungry. Okay, then we have to give King a little bath, but... Um, she's a little bit tired and stuff. I don't know. Wait, where are you going? You finished that already? What the flip? Oh, my babies. They babies. They don't even chew them. Oh, they don't even chew like that. Okay, she's gonna take a little bit of a power nap. Okay, okay. And now let's go and give him a bath, so... Give a bath to King. I wanted to go to the salon, you guys, today. I wanted to go to the salon, but this is taking a long time just to even do. So I guess we're just going to go after school. Um, the kids are pretty much fine. There's nothing really wrong with them. Um, you need to potty, my love. You got to potty every single time. Go and use a diaper. Uh, use diaper. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, they always be shitting their pants. Damn, I didn't think the grilled cheese had anything like that in it. Okay, let's put these away. Child, there we go. Alright. And I'll put this in the sink because child never got time to wait. Alright. Okay, so King starts school in an hour. Maya starts, what about Brooklyn? She don't got no school? <laughs> I know, damn straight she got school. Okay, let's go and change our outfits into, uh, let's just wear this chill one for today. And my baby is up as well. She's going to go and change her outfits. And, um, yeah, she has that one as well. Okay. And then we can have her grab a serving of this so she can eat a little bit. Then my baby can just sit over here. Can we play with Cleo? Where's Cleo? She's sleeping. Cleo, baby. Where you at? Where's Cleo? Oh, okay. <laughs> Go and play with Cleo. I feel like they would always be talking to Cleo and playing with her. So let's go and play with her. Okay, he's in his <laughs> outfit. I need you, baby girl, to go and change into your outfit for school. So she's going to wear this outfit for today. And, um, okay, so they're just going to sit down and wait for, for school to start. And then she's going to do that. All right, let's go and take a selfie, you know. Self-confidence is the best confidence ever, okay? Oh, look at her. She's so flipping pretty with the flip. The flip. She's so pretty. Okay. So took us some selfies. And I didn't want to post them, actually. Where are they? We got 63. Girl, I was about to say, are those the ones that you literally just took? How are they, like, bad like that? Okay, upload this. Okay, sell that. The kid's going to school, and it's time for y'all to go to school as well. So they're off to school. Okay, school. Go to school. Okay, so everyone's got, gone to school. And they're going to go ahead and listen to the teacher. And he's going to go in, um, don't listen to the teacher. And she's going to play with some toys. <laughs> they are so bad. 
They are so flipping bad. All right. I think she's going to go and make some friends or something. Let's go make some friends. Especially this hard time. So, I'm going to skip until they are done from school. And I will catch you guys in a second. Okay, yeah. So, I'm recording this the whole other day. And this is re right when I wake up. So, <laughs> Yeah, I probably used to be just at my wake up voice, but so we are here at this salon. If you guys did not watch the last part of this of us getting the salon and stuff, you need to go ahead and watch that part. Um, I still need to do some more stuff on the outside, but y'all know Kyra came in it like she can't even afford any money for anything right now. So what I'm thinking is that um she won't even like honestly I would have her hire some employees and stuff like that but she doesn't have any money to actually like have that money why do i see okay she won't even have that money to pay these employees so i'm just thinking that honestly like right now we're probably just gonna have to um ariana stay with us and then she's gonna help us with like hairs and stuff like that and we're gonna get paid like that that way but obviously right now it's like the start of everything and it's just not going too well but um we're just gonna go ahead and come up in here and we're going to try and just like look at the web and we do have an appointment today with one of our friends she wants to come and see um she wants to come and get her like her hair done and stuff like that so that is what we're going to be doing today i'm also going to um invite over ariana so that she can come over i still need to figure out how i can actually make her an employee so i'm gonna have to figure that stuff out but we're gonna come over here and check out the appointment schedule um in the computer and we're not gonna officially open it we're kind of just like doing like little appointments bit by bit if you guys understand like one appointment we'll have like one day or like two appointments a day or like stuff like that so it just goes smooth and we don't have a whole bunch of people you know it also doesn't make sense that we would have a whole bunch of people um you know coming to do their hair at once because we don't have employees like that um she's feeling a little bit tired so i'm actually gonna go ahead and have her get one of those sleep placements she's forever drinking these things honestly i hope it doesn't like mess her up or nothing but we're gonna go and drink one of those because i do not want to be sleep oh she already had one i do not want to be sleepy while we're doing people's hair because we do not want to mess up their frontal um but here goes ariana hi love how you doing okay let's go and give her a friendly let's um ask about her day see how her day's doing and we're going to invite over our other friend. Her name was Jade. We met her at prom. So she actually wants to get her hair done. So we're going to be doing that today. And we're going to be, that's going to be like $200 that we get in from her for that, for her frontal and stuff. So we're providing the hair. So the hair is, like, actually no, it's going to be like 300 because we're providing the hair, which is like 200 And then uh, we're doing the hair. So it's like 100 so we're basically providing her with the hairs and all that stuff so we're gonna invite her over her hygiene is a little bit low so i'm gonna actually go ahead and have her wash her hands you know she has to get ready to do their hair i also need to do some outfits child can you come upstairs go here how are you not able to go upstairs okay let me go and teleport her real quick so teleport and then I'm going to have her wash her hands. I have to fix the stairs because I don't know what's going on. But yeah, we're just going to wash our hands because we were just outside and everything. And then we're going to come downstairs and, you know, get ready for her appointment. Yeah. Like I was saying before, I do want to um, do some outfits and everything. So we will do that for the next part or in the next part. So, um, I'm so excited because I want her to have her little outfits and everything. Oh, I got to help her. I forgot. Child, I forgot already, like my whole brain. Anyway, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and um, inside, let's do an inside joke with her and let's go ahead and get her hair done. So we're gonna actually have her, uh, we're gonna offer a hairstyle and we're gonna do Jade and we're just gonna get her hair done and we're gonna get $200 for this. Wait, are we in the thing account? Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. So, I'm going to add um, 300. Actually, we'll do that after when she's finished. Um, but, yeah. We're going to come. Girl, if you don't, hurry up. 
But like I was saying, I think I was saying in this in the streams and stuff, I do want their uniform to be pink. Like pink and black. Like I want them to have like a pink top. Um, that kind of looks more like businessy. And then like just like some leggings or something like that, you know? I think that'd be a really cute outfit, so yeah we're gonna do her hair you know what i'm saying okay oh <laughs> wait we finished did we finish her hair she likes it okay so she really wanted to try this like you know this purple you know hair and stuff and it has like purple streaks and she actually looks super cute with this wig I guess she wants to try a really cool, like, fun color. So that's cute on her. We're going to do another wig for her to see which one she likes and stuff. Oh, look at this ponytail. This ponytail is so cute. I love the bangs and stuff. We have so many wigs that we, we already have, like, we have to restock some stuff, though. Once we do a lot of appointments, we're going to have to restock on a whole bunch of stuff. But let's just see. Okay, so she wants this. Baby, you wanted this Back wig out of the the purple hair was so cute, but she wants to try this. Wig. <laughs> I don't know why she would want to try this way, but I mean it's still super cute. But it's it's something different. I don't know, it's something different. But um, I like it. If she likes it, then she's a happy a happy happy person. If she likes it, oh, we gave her back her old hair. Oh, child, no. Hold up. <laughs> Wait, I want to ask for hairstyle, ask for makeup, ask for hairstyle. I don't know if there's a mod that they actually, like, have a whole different ha hairstyle when we actually do their hair because I feel I want to download that mod because I actually want it to work properly and not just, you know, be like a go off. <laughs> So, we're going to go ahead and do, I think that wig that she had before with the, um, the two, like, purple streaks, that was super cute. So, I'm going to actually have her wear that one. It was this one, and then she had purple in it. So, let me try and find the purple one. It was... Oh, she wants to do a little colorful, different type of style. So, this is her new wig, and it's super cute. And, oh my god, this is too cute, okay? Kyra does so good when she's doing wigs, and that's on period. Okay, so we are back, and she's let's just pretend that she's going to wear her actual hair. Hey, period! Okay, so let's go and take a picture with her real quick so that we can post it on our website. And, you know, it just brings some more people to our business. So, um, let's just go ahead and come over here. And we're going to take a photo of, um, take a photo of her. Why can't I take a photo? Go if you don't come over here. Get over here. And I want to take a photo of her. No, don't leave, girl. Do not leave. I have to take a picture for um of you real quick. Go here together. Okay, take a photo. King, oh my god. <laughs> take a photo of Jade. Let's go take a photo of her. Pose, girl. Period. Yes. Yes, baby boo. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, y'all know, um, Kyra does have an Instagram for her business, so y'all look out for this picture on her business page, because every single picture that we take of the clients, we're going to be posting it there, and I'm also going to post, she's also going to be posting, like, you know, other pictures of her actually doing the hair and stuff like that, so y'all go and follow her, okay, um, and let's go and put this, actually, no, let's do a different filter, um, Let's do this one. Okay. Yes. She is so cute. All right. So we're going to go and post this on our Instagram. And it, we're actually going to be posting it. So let's go and put this on the floor. Can we put this on the floor? There we go. Upload to Instagram. She's going to upload it there. 
and then she's also gonna be having it so by the time you guys see this video she'll already have it up on her instagram on her business page so y'all go and check it out oh, she's like this is oh a hairstyle God, i love yeah. this hairstyle look how cute it looks i already took some snapchats and everything okay period all right so <clears throat> what we're gonna go ahead and do is um let's go up and okay girl <laughs> give me my money anyways let's go and um we're going to ask for the money. Well, she's going to, like, give her the money, basically. So. Um, I'm going to make it so that we can lock these computer stuff. Computer oh, yes. Lock for um, everyone but employees. Because I don't want her to be on the computer. Okay, so she gave us a $45 tip. Plus, she's giving us 300 because of... The hair, so that is literally so amazing. She is so amazing. Okay, so three hundred dollars we got from her. She is so sweet. Let's go and give her a hug because she's honestly amazing. She gave us a tip and everything. But once we get enough money, we can do some employees and also some stuff on the outside, so it looks more appealing on the outside. I mean, you can see pretty much... What was I say? Hey, sweetie, I just want to say that I'm thankful to have you despite everything. Oh, aren't you busy? I can't come and see you, Father, but I love you so much. But yeah, so... Um, I want it to be more appealing on the outside, even though it's really appealing on the inside. But I want it to be more appealing on the outside. So you have to work on the outside when we get enough money and stuff like that. Um, let's go and send a text to our Father and tell him that we is good. Um, I also do want to let him know that we did do good on our first little day for our appointment. So, we're going to go and text him. And we're going to, um, let's go and, can we just talk, let's just call him because, I don't know, I don't see any options that are good, but. Yeah, we're just gonna go and call our dad and tell him that our first day actually went really, really good. Since you come play with me today, Cameron, I can't come play with you. We literally was playing with you last part. Damn. Okay, but we gotta go home though, so um, let's go. She's feeling a little bit sad. Okay, I literally, I'm gonna lock this computer too, baby. Lock for everyone but employees. And we're gonna have her leave. Let's just pretend that she already left. Or she's leaving. So, make some new leave. Okay. Goodbye, girly. She's like, thank you for the hair. I appreciate you. Of course, come in time. All right. So, we're going to go um, and come outside. Go, come over here, girl. We got to we gotta close up. So, we're going to close up for today. It's super, super late. Um, and then, let's go ahead and lock for everyone. So, nobody comes in. And let's just go on home. Okay, yeah, so we had a pretty, pretty successful day today, which I'm really, really happy about. So, let's go ahead and see how my babies are doing. They are doing good. It's time for their bedtime. It's time for bed, though. Okay, so let's bring, um, let's put Tyler to bed. We're going to put Maya to sleep. <clears throat> Child, whenever I wake up and I start recording, it is not a good look because... <laughs> Because I literally could not flip in. Girl, you can't get up in I literally could not speak. Is the door, like, broken? Oh, my gosh. Okay, go and put her to sleep, please. Put Maya to sleep. Change her outfit and put her to bed. It is so flipping late. I'm going to bring this nanny and dismiss her. Um, Let's dismiss her real quick. We got spoiled grilled cheese. What the hell? Come put this away. Oh my god, we got a broken sink. What happened while we was gone? What the hell? <laughs> this ghetto place. What was happening while we was gone? That's what I really want to know. But I'm going to put my baby yeah. to bed. Look at my baby Maya. Look at her. She's the cutest. <laughs> Cutest little bug. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put um Brooklyn. Put Tyler to sleep. Oh no, not by a street. Let's um put Brooklyn to bed after we dismiss her. That'll be seventy one dollars. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put King to bed. 
and tuck her in, tuck in Brooklyn, her little cute bear, um, bear sleepwear. No matter what, Kyra is such an amazing mom. Like, I say this in, like, every single part because she is honestly just amazing. Like, she is such a hard worker, plus she has triplets. And, you know, she tries to, like, make sure that they have, like, the best life that she can possibly provide for them. And that's what I love about her so much is that she always just tries to be the best that she can possibly be. And she even feels like she's not even, she's not even that, like, good, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's go and just hire a repair service because we don't know how to repair no damn sink. We don't know how to do any of that. So, we got all these dust bunnies, which if you guys know how to, um, disable the dust, the dust and all that stuff, please let me know because it's actually getting, like, <laughs> it's a, like, a, it's like a cute little feature or whatever, but it's just, I don't like the dust bunnies. Like, at least the dust, but the dust bunnies just be too much. Like, it just be annoying. <laughs> but... Um, she actually needs to go and use the bathroom, and we need to clean up this place, but she's gonna go take a shower, a little quick shower. Um, thanks for hiring from repair service. Your repair will arrive Saturday at 1. Okay, so it'll come in, like, right now. And after she showers, she's gonna go ahead and grab her some leftovers. Uh, let's see what we have in our fridge. Oh, we got some pizza. Six left. Let's go and grab us a servant of some pizza because that's what we find. This little um, potty box is always dirty. Poor Cleo needs to go use the bathroom, but she has all her poop in here and all the flies and stuff. It's so gross. <laughs> that's so gross. Uh, oh my god. Okay. We're going to clean it after in, in a little bit. But we're going to take us a quick little shower. Yes, I love quick showers. We love to see it. Everything looks... Oh, he did that fast. He, okay. Okay, yes, ma'am. Oh, we haven't even talked to Antonio in a really long time. Let's go and send him a text. Just let him know that, you know, we're going through some stuff. But we still, you know, we still mess with him. And he's still our baby dad. <laughs> you know? Just make sure that he knows what's up. Bro, anytime I wake up, bro, my... <laughs> y'all, what are you y'all doing at? Go back to sleep if y'all don't go back to sleep right now. You got a nightmare. Oh my lord. Okay. Um. Yeah, she's gonna clean the litter box, and we're gonna go and can we cuddle with her? Comfort. Let's go and comfort her. Tell her everything's gonna be okay. All right. Let's go and uh read her to bed. Read Maya to sleep. Maybe that will help her a little bit if she gets a little bedtime story. No, Cleo, stop drinking from the puddles, Cleo. You know better than that. Okay. I don't know what this outfit is with this towel and stuff, but okay, she's gone to bed. All right. Let's lecture her about drinking from the puddles because that is a no, ma'am. And let's go and fill this and call her to eat. And we'll clean up the puddles and stuff like that in the morning, but... We're gonna go off to bed. Actually, let's give her some. Let's give her some. Actually, no, she's gonna be. She's gonna eat. So, um, let's just mop the puddle from now. To be honest, today was actually a very, very successful day. I'm not even gonna lie. We actually made some money, even though we got some horrible news and all. Honestly, I think Kyra is. She's definitely someone that um. Bounces back from stuff, you know what I'm saying? So she even feels really excited and happy for what's gonna be going on um, In the past, you know in the next couple of weeks and you know months She just knows it's gonna be up from here because this motivates her to keep pushing and keep going hard Especially her kids her kids are her like her number one motivation as well But yeah, I hope y'all really enjoyed this part and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and turn on that bell so you guys do not miss out on when I do post another video but yeah i love you guys so 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 much also go ahead and check out my twitch because i stream over there mostly every single day or every other day so make sure you have the notifications on over there as well so you don't miss out on when i play single mom life over there and i'm also starting a new sim self let's play with my celebrity crush so <laughs> y'all go and follow me over there but yeah i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Mwah. bye cuties